Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Alicia and I'm back with another DIY video. Well not really 100% a DIY video because I'm not really going to do a full tutorial on how I put together, I mean I'm sorry, on how I designed all these party favors. This is more so going to be a watch me work video because this is what this was a large party favor package or a large party favor order. So I'm basically just going to show you guys how I assembled it and how I packaged it and boxed it for shipping. So this is basically a watch me work and package and order video if that makes sense now i do have other videos on how i design the templates for the party favors and i will link those videos down below but this is just going to be a watch me work video so the templates that i'm using in my in this video of course is from my website so go ahead and check out creativecraftlc.com for your printable party favors i'm going to put the link down below and i do have a buy two printables get one free or buy two favors get one free however you want to put it so on um, in these frozen um designs are going to be found in the edit editable party favors section of my shop to make it easier you can go to the search button of my shop and type in frozen and whatever i have for that theme is going to pop up so I basically everything that's in the video is basically what's going to pop up i think the only thing that i did not put up yet is the cake topper and i'm gonna make a separate video on how i make um a printable 3d cake topper okay so these are basically the favors that i have if there is a favor that you want like a certain cookie or a certain kind of dessert favor that you want or wrapper that you want and you don't see it on the website definitely reach out to me in the let's chat button on the website and i can make it for you and add it to the website so this is how the chip bag look and i'm going to be doing chips and um drink pouch labels and candy wrappers and all that kind of stuff so but that's how the chips look and then i went ahead and i used pick monkey to design it or to add the child's name her age and some a couple of you know an image of her or in a happy birthday saying onto it as well and this is how it printed out and i printed it on my laser printer and i used glossy photo paper and i'm going to link the paper down below that i use as well you don't have to use the kind that i use whatever glossy paper you use make sure it's compatible compatible with the type of printer that you're going to be printing on basically if you're printing on inkjet make sure that the glossy paper is set for where it's made for inkjet printer okay so this is how the chip bag came out and like i said i'm going to link down below on how i edit and add graphics and text to my templates okay i do it using pick monkey but of course you can use canva as well so i'm um, on every single chip bag there are cut lines okay it's usually a darker color than what the chip bag is so that you can see i usually typically put them in black okay so just go ahead and i'm sorry not cut lines they're fold lines okay so just go ahead and use those lines and that's, that's gonna guide you on where you fold your chip bag but putting a chip bag together is fairly easy it's super super easy you're basically just folding down two sides of the chip bag and then you're going to either use a glue gun or a double-sided tape to go ahead and fold it and adhere it okay so yeah so basically i'm just going to be i'm not going to do too much talk i'm just going to go ahead and put music and i'm just going to you know you guys can watch me work so in this party favorite bundle i know i'm doing chips fun dips um, i'm doing some mini cookies the fudge stripe keebler cookies um, i'm also doing some ring pops I didn't do the cake topper in this video, but I did print the soda can labels, water bottle labels. I did about, I want to say, six or seven different treats in this party package, okay? So, yeah, definitely go ahead and you guys can watch me assemble this. And I'm going to also um, package this or box it on camera as well to get it ready for a ship out, okay? <laughs>
Okay, so after doing the chips, I went ahead and printed our mini cookie labels. Okay, and this is how it turned out. Came out really, really super cute. Um, I'm doing the fudge, the Keebler fudge stripe mini cookies, and then I found a box. I believe the box had 12 of them in it at Walmart for like about six, seven dollars. So that wasn't bad. So yeah, so this is how the template print or the wrapper printed out, and I went ahead and I added her pictures onto it using Pig Monkey. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and link a video down below of how you can edit my templates and add pictures and captions and things to it using either pig monkey or canva so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out and we're going to go ahead and assemble these and wrap our fudge stripe cookies in the inside of it <laughs> So now we're going to move on to our fun dips. Now the fun dips, they print two to a sheet, which is good. So out of one sheet of photo paper, you get two fun dip wraps, okay? And this is how they turned out. I basically, the design for each of them is kind of the same. I went ahead and used the same picture across all the designs that I put her pictures on for this order. So it's really simple, really easy. And like I said, I'm going to link down below on how I was able to add her picture and her name and things like that. So yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out. And like I said, these are two to a sheet of um, paper so you're going to cut off of course all your excess white and then after cutting off all your excess white you're going to cut down straight in the middle where that thick black cutting line is in the center okay so yeah so this is how super simple and easy this is yeah we're going to cut directly in the center okay we're going to cut going across not going up and down but going across okay because we want to 
fold it, we want to fold this wrapper in half, almost like a book, like a little notebook, okay? And then we're going to glue it together and we're going to stick our fun dip in the inside. And then I went ahead and I ordered these fun dips from Amazon and they also came with a few free um, pop rocks as well. So I'm going to see if I can find where I ordered the, um, the listing that I used to order the fun dips from on Amazon and I'll go ahead and link that down below. But yeah, but these fun dip wrappers came out really cute, super simple. All you do is basically fold it in half and then you're going to glue it and then we're going to stick our fun dips in the inside of it and then we're going to finish um, gluing around the top part or the closure of our wrapper and that's it. So yeah, so I'm going to come back. I'm sorry guys, ignore my dog in the background. So I'll come back and then we'll do the next treat together as well. Okay, guys, now that we finished with our fun dips, we're moving on to our ring pops. I want to say that our ring pops are probably one of my favorite treats to wrap. I don't know why. I just love the way that they look after you wrap them. So this is how our ring pop wrapper is printed out. And they also print to, to a page as well. So you get two ring pop wrappers from every template that you print and we're going to also cut that straight down the middle we're going to cut up and down with the thick black cutting line that's in the center dividing each ring pop just going to go ahead and cut that straight across please ignore any sounds you might hear my neighbor is like outside by her front door sweeping and then chulo was also watching her through the window waiting for her to get close to the front door so he could start to bark and go crazy so yeah it's a whole lot going on right now trying to do this voiceover so yeah so i just went ahead and cut that straight down the center dividing the two ring pop wrappers and then we're going to go ahead and cut off our excess white then we're going to go ahead and wrap these ring pops now when you watch me wrap them watch me carefully as i'm doing this because with the ring pop wraps you have to have like an extra piece or the templates have like an extra piece of paper that sticks out in the back of the ring pop. It doesn't look bad because it truly is the design of the ring pop itself. So, but just go ahead and watch me wrap them carefully and I'm going to be pointing out and showing you guys where to add your glue or adhesive. Okay. I probably would come back on and do some more commentary just to make sure that you guys are really understanding how to do this. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold down on those fold lines that I'm pointing out to you right now, those dark black fold lines are where we're gonna go ahead and start to do our folds, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fold down one side and then flip it over and fold down directly on the other side. You know what, I'll just stay on camera and talk you through into doing this first ring pop, okay? I'll probably, I'll probably go ahead and do two of them on camera. So with folding down our fold line, this is how the front of our ring pop wrapper looks. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up and we're going to glue. Now, when we glue, we're going to glue down on one side of our ring pop label. And then the other side is going to kind of stick off or it's going to be an extra piece of paper hanging like I just tried to explain to you guys. So that piece that I folded downward, that's going to be the extra piece of paper sticking off that we don't have to add any glue to. Okay. And on the other side, that's flat. We're going to go ahead and add our glue right there to that, okay? And it might seem a little confusing, but it actually mimics the design of the actual 
real ring pop wrapper and i'll probably show you guys here in a second of what i mean so i went ahead and glued one side down on itself you don't glue down that extra piece of flap okay don't glue that okay you leave that sticking up just like that because that's actually how the actual ring pop looks it has like a flap of paper that's not glued or not stuck so it's, it basically is mimicking the same exact ring pop wrap that the ring pop actually comes in okay so you don't want to glue down that flap just let, let it go ahead and stay loose it's supposed to be like that okay um then we're going to go ahead and we're going to open our ring pop wrapper and we're going to go ahead and stick our ring pop inside of that then we're going to go ahead and completely close it off by sealing both ends of our ring pop wrapper okay so hopefully you guys are able to get this it's super simple super easy if you don't get it just go ahead and rewind but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and stick some glue in the top part and the bottom part of our wrapper and that's how we go ahead and assemble our ring pop wrappers <laughs> Okay, so now that we finished our ring pops, we're going to go ahead and move on to our candy bag labels. So this is how our candy bag labels printed out. And I printed these on sticker paper. I believe I used matte sticker paper. I had picked some up at Walmart for like $6. And I think it came with like either 10 or 15 sheets of paper in the pack for about $6, $7, which is not bad at all. Now, I make sure, like I said, that you're buying paper that's compatible with the type of printer that you're going to be using or whatever is compatible with your ink setting. So this printer, this paper that I found at Walmart was for inkjet printer. So rather than printing them on my laser, I went ahead and printed them on my inkjet printer. Then I went ahead and found some of this ribbon as well. This is like balloon string ribbon or party ribbon, whatever you want to call it. But it's a very thin silver glittery look of ribbon. I thought it would be cute with the frozen theme because it's silver and it's glittery. Okay. So I'm going to be using that to tie the ends of my candy bags. And then these are the candy bags. I got these from Walmart as well. Sorry if my camera is not focusing. But these are the Silo bags, okay? And they have them in like clear. They have them in iridescent. I believe this is the iridescent looking shade. They have them in pink. They have them in blue. They have them out of different, different colors at Walmart. And they have them at Dollar Tree as well. At Walmart, they were about a dollar and some change. And then I also got this big bag of candy, assorted candy from walmart as well different jolly ranchers they have lollipops they have all types of jolly rancher candies assorted in this big bag and then i also went ahead and got a big bag of chocolate candy as well okay and whatever ring pops i have left over i'm going to probably go ahead and use those as well in some of the candy bags so yeah so this is how much candy that i've used and how much chocolate i've used all together and i want to say i think i put together about either between 10 or 12 bags in total might even have been 15 but i put together a good amount of bags i basically just kept putting together enough as to when the bag the candy ran out basically okay so the the um the candy label bags i mean the candy labels print out eight to a sheet so if I didn't use every single sheet, uh, um, every single label, I probably used about 12 of them, okay? The order, I think, was for 10 candy bags. So I just went ahead and just kept on making them until the candy ran out. And putting these together are fairly simple. And they're really cute to put on a dessert table or a candy uh, or a party favor table. Really, really cute. And so I just went ahead and opened up our bags. And I'm just going to go ahead and place a sticker or our candy bag label on each bag make sure that you're holding the bag the correct way with the opening part of course is at the top and you just go ahead and place your sticker i want to say you put it about an inch and a half no more than two inches above um 
above the end of the candy bag okay and i'm going to show you guys what i mean here just in a second because we're also going to tie the top of it so you want to make sure that you're not also tying the um the candy bag label as well so i think i put it up a little bit too high right here so i went back in and put them in lower so you want to go ahead and go up about an inch and a half to two inches from the bottom of that candy bag don't put it up any higher than that the higher you put it to the opening of the candy bag once you begin to seal that candy bag you're going to also start crushing and sealing the label as well and you don't want to do that okay but yeah i'm just going to go ahead and stuff these and i'm going to come back and show you guys after we stuff them how we close them as well okay and i want to say i put about maybe eight pieces of candy in each bag okay if you guys are wondering how much candy you should put don't overdo it now you want to give them enough treats but you don't want them to have a sugar rush okay so we uh, you want them to have a small sugar rush so maybe about eight or nine pieces of candy in each bag should be good and it'll be enough to fill the bag and make it look thick and and full okay <laughs> how our first candy bag turned out and as you can see that label is too high so i did go back in and make the labels a lot lower than that like i said you want to put the labels about an inch an inch and a half from the bottom of your candy bag so i went ahead and redid that bag and moving forward all the other bags i put the labels about an inch an inch and a half from the bottom of the candy bags and these are how they turned out so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and add an extra string just basically i mean you don't have to do this you don't have to add balloon string but i like to curl the ends of the balloon string to give the bags a little extra decorum okay a little extra playfulness you know a little extra something so yeah so the candy bags already come with twist ties but if you do want to add some balloon string to make it look a little bit more cuter then definitely go ahead and do that so i just go ahead and i i want to say i cut the balloon string about 12 to 15 inches long and then i go ahead and wrap it around and knot it and then i take my scissor or one end of my scissor or you can use a butter knife like a very dull knife and just go ahead and just pull really hard that way the ends of the balloon string start to curl up just like this and this is how cute it turned out this is really 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 cute really simple add an extra touch of wow to your favorite table super nice very nice and of course it's better than regular party bags of course because her picture is on the bag as well as her name so yeah so if you definitely want to look for another other ways affordable ways of how to add favors to your treat table that look good you know then this definitely is the way to go is to make some your own little candy bags so definitely like i said if you want a certain theme or a certain treat and it's not available on the website definitely reach out to me and i'll try to add them within about 48 hours like i do get a lot of new design requests so bear with me but i do try to add new designs in about 48 hours after i get the request if it's not added in 48 hours definitely reach out to me again okay but yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and do some more of these little candy bags and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next trip okay so the next treat ended up being the, the the drink labels and i don't ship out um drinks because i'm afraid that it might open up in the package and get everything wet so the next things that i printed off was the drink labels i did i printed that off camera but here's the capri sun labels and i used a waterproof sticker paper and i'll go ahead and link the one that i use off of amazon down below so the capri sun templates they print four to a page and then here are the soda can labels and i believe they print two to a page and then underneath that we have the cake topper now but this customer in particular she's doing a sheet cake so this cake topper is a lot wider than a typical cake topper because it's for a you know a square sheet cake uh, um, a more lower sheet cake so if you want to diy on how to make a, a sheet cake cake topper definitely reach out to me in the comments and let me know 
but I am going to put up a DIY on how to make a 3D cake topper. It's not going to be sheet cake cake topper, but it will indeed be a cake topper. Now, these are the water bottle labels, and I believe those print out five to a page, okay? And, of course, here is our ring pops, okay? They came out really, really cute. I love the way these ring pops turned out my favorite treat maybe because i love ring pop so much but they are absolutely my favorite treat here are our chip bags they came out really really nice and then over to the side we have our candy bags which came out really really nice as well we have our fun dips as well at the bottom and then next to that we have our mini cookie bags yeah and these are everything that we made to go to package for this order Okay, and then I'm going to show you guys how I packaged the order. I was going to do a separate video, but I said, you know what? Let me just put everything together in one long video. Okay, not too long. It's about less than 40 minutes, but there's no point in making a separate five minute video of how to package it. I just went ahead and said, you know what? Let me just add it to this video as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my box. I believe the size of the box is, if I'm not mistaken, I think the size of the box was about, uh, I want to say, 12 by 14 okay and i did get the box from office max but of course you can get boxes from walmart you can get box from amazon but i want to say it was about 10 by 14 or 12 by 14 somewhere around those lines now if you don't have a big favor order you don't have to get a box that big but this order was a big order so i wanted to get a big enough box where everything could fit in one box okay and here i'm just putting some large tissue paper that i have gotten off amazon maybe about a year ago I, I always keep this in stock because if i do get a big order it is best to use some kind of bubble wrap or tissue paper to hold everything together in the box so everything is not moving around from side to side so i go ahead and i put these large pieces of tissue paper in the inside then i also add tape to it as well i'm going to try to film as much as i can of me doing this so you guys can get an understanding of how to do it but yeah i put the large pieces of tissue paper in the box then i use scotch tape just to keep the tissue paper where i put it in a box if that makes sense and then the first treats that i normally always package is our chips so our chips we always package those first and they usually go in the bottom of the box okay and then everything else we can go ahead and package around it so i'm just going to go ahead and put the tissue paper and start packaging and come back and show you guys how it looks at the end and i also leave the link down below for the plastic that i use to put some of the Basically, I put like the drink labels in like plastic wrap, okay? Like these, these small little, it's called um, resealable silo bags is really what it's called on Amazon if you're wondering. And I believe this size is like, um, I want to say this is either, I think this is the 10 inch bag, the 10 inch size. So it's 10 inches long and I believe it's about uh, 8 inches wide. So this is a 10 by 8 resealable bags i could be wrong but i'm gonna go ahead and find the exact ones that i buy and link them down below as well so you guys would know so everything that's not a treat i'll go ahead and i just you know put these in the plastic and then i think i'm also going to plastic wrap the ring pops as well as the fun dip as well the chips you don't have to wrap in anything you can just put the chips in the box just the way it is and then i'm also going to i'm going to also wrap our cake topper as well so it doesn't get bent or ruined inside the box and of course I'll take our cake topper is gonna go in last because I want to put that on top of everything after we um, package everything in our box so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pack start packaging everything and I'm gonna come back and show you guys how everything looks <laughs>
this is how everything is looking so far. So we have our chips first, and I believe we're putting our candy bags next. Then I put the little um cookie, the little mini cookies on top of that, and I put the ring pops on top of the chips, okay? And like I said, I went ahead and packaged the ring pops into plastic, okay? And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and toss in our fun dips. I didn't end up putting those in plastic. I just went ahead and separated them like half by half and stuck them on top of the candy bags, okay? And then after doing that, of course, the last thing that we're going to put in is our cake topper. We're going to also put in our plastic with our drink wrappers in that as well. So this is basically how you package everything. And you want to make sure that if you do have any, like if your order is not that big and the box is bigger than how many items you have, go ahead and use tissue paper and fill in spaces in the box therefore you know when you send when you drop off a package after you drop it off you know they're gonna handle that box however they want to handle that box okay and usps which is what i'm using they're not that gentle okay so if you have empty spaces in the box definitely take you some tissue paper or bubble wrap and fill in the empty spaces that way your your box you know your stuff is not getting mushed around while the box is being tossed and going through the delivery service okay it's best to do that because i've in the beginning i didn't know to do that so i shipped off favors without you know th they were just sitting in the box and then by the time the customer got it it was like oh my god like the treats had gone through hell and back okay <laughs> so definitely if you're doing it for a business you don't want your customers to be dissatisfied so definitely if you're using a bigger box and what you have enough favors for definitely go ahead and fill in those loose areas of the box with some tissue paper or some bubble wrap so that the box can be full so that your stuff is not bouncing around inside of the box so i just went ahead and took two pieces of tissue paper and then i went ahead and took my um tape got regular scotch tape and just went ahead and stuck in that cake topper in the inside and just go went ahead and sealed it around with the scotch tape just to make sure that it's that it's somewhat padded okay you don't do it all the way around of course because we have the skews sticking out the bottom but i just wanted basically wanted to make like a small little protective covering for the cake topper and that's going to go directly on top of all of our treats and there you have it and that is how we package a big party favor order super simple super easy not difficult at all just basically you're using common sense this is what works for me a different way might work for you but i found through trial and error that this way of doing it works the best so yeah so this is how we package our really big party favor and we're going to close our bag and get ready for shipping i'm going to of course add some more tissue paper and try to see if i can find some bubble wrap to put on top of that but this is basically it guys so if you made it to the ending of this video thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate every view means something to me every comment i try to respond back to of course and i'm super super grateful thank you guys and like always stay blessed <laughs>